Hey there, today's fun video is the truck driver video. Now, about halfway through my legal career, I decided to quit my lawyer job and try solo legal practice, being a lawyer on my own. Well, it lasted for about three years. It didn't, it didn't go very well, but I got a bunch of fun stories from it, and one of them is the truck driver story. I think this truck driver was the first client that I had when I opened up my solo legal practice. Let's say his name was uh, Jimmy. So Jimmy drove into my office, uh, drove into the parking lot of my office, came up to my office. He was the brother of one of the ladies that I knew from church. He was about 35 years old and he came to talk to me about bankruptcy. I don't remember the specifics, but when Jimmy and his wife were first married many years before, uh, he had he had made a foolish decision. Maybe he bought very expensive stereo equipment or very, very expensive furniture and didn't make any payments on it, and he owed a bunch of money because he hadn't made any payments in 15 years. So he came to me to talk about bankruptcy. I explained to him everything that I had ever been taught about bankruptcy. And uh, he thought and thought and thought, and he called me Mr. Chris. He looked at me and he said, Mr. Chris, I understand what you're saying, but I could go bankrupt a hundred times and I'd still owe these people the money, wouldn't I? I said, well, Jimmy, uh, I understand what you're saying, and yeah, I think in your mind you would owe them the money. So he asked, he asked me a tough question then. He said, what do you think I ought to do? Well, after my first year in law school, I had worked for a summer in the credit industry, so I knew a little bit about the credit industry. This is the days before uh, personal computers, and uh, there, there were computers, and they produced giant books of printouts, wide, wide books of printouts. And uh, I said, Jimmy, uh, let me call the uh, company and see, see, see what we can do. But I said, before you go, let me ask you, how much can you guarantee me you can pay on this debt every week? He said, I can pay $25 a week. I said, great. They're going to laugh at me, but that's all right. With the amount you owe, $25 a week, but I'll call them anyway. So I called, and they got Jimmy's books in front of them with all of the... the Non, non-payment columns in it. And so uh, I said, I'm, my name's Chris Green. I'm an attorney from Louisiana. I just had a client named Jimmy come in. You're looking at his books and he, wants, he wanted to talk about bankruptcy. And uh, I said, we would like to make an offer that Jimmy pay you $25 a week on this debt. And of course, the man at the other end laughed. And I was kind of laughing too. I, I said, but before you tell me no, recognize this. If he does declare bankruptcy, you're going to get nothing. If he gives you this $25 a week plan, then I guarantee you, you will get at least $25 because if he doesn't pay the first $25, I will. So the man laughed again and said, okay, I'll put him on a $25 a week plan. So uh, fast forward about two years, I'm almost ready to go back to the company that I quit from two years before, and I was so happy they took me back. Uh, and and uh, Jimmy drives in. He's very sad. He sits down and says, Mr. Chris, my wife and I have been talking about this, and I don't think we're getting very far on this debt. I've been paying every week for two years. I said, Jimmy, that's, that's exactly right. You're just about paying your interest, that's all. So he said, what do you think we ought to do? I said, well, I'll call them again. You, you go back to your truck and drive on off and I, I will call them. So I called and got a different man this time. And, but I knew what Jimmy's books would look like because these, these giant pages were one year each and he'd be looking at two pages and every column would be a full payment because he made 
two years worth of weekly payments of $25. And nobody in the uh, credit industry sees someone who has been behind in his debts making 104 straight full payments. So I called and I got the different man and and uh, I said, will you please look at the books of so-and-so? And he opened up the book and I could just hear him say, wow. I knew what he was looking at, these perfect payments. So uh, I said, what are you seeing? He said, I've never seen anything like this before. So this time it was my turn to ask the question. I said, what do you think we ought to do? And he just hesitated for a, for a minute and he said, I tell you what, I'm just going to write off this whole debt. And I said, okay, I think we'll accept that compromise. And so even though this chapter is about bankruptcy and this might have been a story that only happened to Mr. Jimmy in the whole history of the world, this is a great story about a guy who, because he faithfully for two years kept up with his payments, got his whole debt removed. Okay.